a, a Unitarian Universalist. That yes. that sounds like uh, you guys believe that every single person who's ever lived or who will ever live is going to go to heaven. Well, that's actually a keystone of what brought the Universalists into believing. Okay. Yeah. So God was too good to condemn anybody to hell. What, what about... I've always wanted to ask but, this question. But we are, because you use the word belief, we do not have a stated doctrine. Okay. So different you use believe different things, and that's okay. So we, some may believe that there is a hell? Yes, and some don't. Some don't. So what do you believe? Uh, I believe there is a hell, and it's inside each of us. Okay. And some people are very much there. I'm a volunteer prison chaplain, and I meet too many people who carry their own hell around, and it dominates their life. Okay. So as far as the, the hell that Jesus spoke of, that when you die... He, he didn't say where it was. He didn't say where it was, and but he did say that people were condemned to it. Uh, post, de they, post death. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And yet I, I know people uh, who believe in, uh, who have picked up from, 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 from Hinduism that you just go around. And, uh, and if you live badly, then you come back as something really nasty. Uh, like a cockroach or you know, a, a worm. And, and if you live well, you come back as something good. And that's what you believe? No, that, oh, I, I know people who do that. Oh, like the reincarnation. Yeah, here. exactly. And so yeah. for them, that would be a hell. Is yeah, to come, come back, back as something as a really cockroach. awful. Yeah, yeah. So, so what about the person who, you know, is your average Joe? Let's say me. Let's say I'm a regular guy. I just, okay. I, I know there's a God, but I don't believe anything about... Um, the Bible, Jesus is just maybe some guy that lived that kind of deceived people or whatever. I don't believe in him. Okay. I think there's a God. I sin. I do some good things. Uh -huh. I do some bad things. What's going to happen to me when I die? It's probably up to you. Uh, a very wise minister who died of cancer sadly said, religion exists for two reasons. Because people have to come to grips with the fact that I live and I die. And what does that mean? And the other is that what does it mean to live a good life? And pretty much all religious traditions have come out different responses to those two questions. Yeah. So how you answer those two questions is probably a key to the answer to what's going to happen to you. So what if I answer those questions that I'm a pretty good guy, okay. done some wrong, I'm not perfect, nobody okay. is, but I've done enough good so that I think everything will go well for me okay. uh, and when I leave this earth. Your heaven would be in the memories of those around you that you've affected with your goodness. So I will exist in their memories? Yeah, and that's a strong African belief, and it also comes from uh, one of the Greek philosophers. And, uh, so, and your, heaven, your heaven is also in the good feeling that you carry with you when you know you've done a decent thing. But where is my being, my soul? Do you believe I have a soul? Uh, yes, but that is really hard to pin down. <laughs> that is very, very hard to pin down. I mean, like, on the walk... The, the young man I was with a sneeze and I said, bless you, because there was a time when people thought your soul would leave your body, right. and right. or it was a symptom of the plague, right. and uh, that is really hard to pin down, because what, there are so many different beliefs, and yeah. people who claim to have come back from, from the near-death experience all have different kind of responses to, to what that is. What, so, about, what about what the scriptures say which, about which the soul? The Holy Bible. The, the, the Christian Bible. The, the New Christian Testament. Bible. Sure, okay. the New Testament, Old Testament, okay. canon, sure. Okay. Well, well, it speaks about the soul that sins shall die. And those who um, are don't have their sins paid for will, will perish and suffer uh -huh. an eternal punishment. Those on the on his left will depart into yeah, eternal yeah, punishment. Yeah, those yeah. on his right into eternal life. Well, what what do you make of all those verses? I, I don't know what the answer there is, and and uh, I, I believe that the punishment is in our lives. Uh, and maybe if you live a bad life, then the only memory of you are really negative, which would be pretty awful. I mean, think of the memories of Hitler. Yeah. Think of the man memories of people who did just awful things and the memories of that person. Well, that's that's more of a legacy, right? Yeah, I mean, that's not yeah, the being. Yeah. I'm speaking like ontologically, like Hitler well, himself. Where where is the the where person? Where is his soul? I yeah. don't know, and I don't know of any way to find out. I really don't. Don't you think we can find out in the God-inspired Holy Scriptures, the Christian Bible? Well, the the Bible actually is a bunch of books written by a bunch of different people. 
Uh, the New Testament was uh, written, well, the first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, were written by people uh, John several wasn't? decades, wait a minute, wait, oh, several okay, decades right. after Jesus' death. Mm -hmm. John, uh, those three are called the Synoptic Gospels because they look alike. Sin right. meaning like, and optic yeah. meaning, and, but they each tell different stories uh, of the same kinds of things. John was written about 30 years after them, right. and uh, actually the oldest, the closest to Jesus are some of the books that Paul wrote, and it's not clear that Paul ever met Jesus. He was the closest in time, though. He, well, he met a lot of people who were strongly affected by Jesus and was himself. For instance, when Jesus was born, what was his religion? He was a Jew. Yeah, and when he died, he was a Jew. Okay, when Paul was born, he was a Jew and a very high-class Jew who believed his goal in life was to persecute these damn Christians. When he died, you could have said he was the first Christian. Okay, okay. he founded churches all left and right who... who Didn't he meet Jesus, though? It's not and, clear and that he ever did. He had a saying, he had a, uh, well, he on the road that. to Damascus, he yeah. had a vision, yeah. uh, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Yeah. And uh, so God may have appeared yeah. to him in that vision. Yeah. So, so, so that, I'm not sure that deals with the credibility of the scriptures. How, how does that, I'm, I'm saying if we need, we need to hear from God on this matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, we're talking about our soul, yeah. eternal life. Yes, our stakes are very you. high. What are we putting our trust in and where are we getting our, our, our information basically is my, my question. I'm saying I want to find it in a reliable source, which I believe to be the, the scriptures. Well, and so are you saying they're not reliable? I find them inspiring. And I personally am inspired but, more but by not the insp life of Jesus. Yeah, but not inspired like, uh, like, ooh, I, I'm motivated to now do some good like that. I mean, like, the, the word is theanostas in the Greek. You know, God breathed. Okay. Like, like you obviously have done more homework because I don't know the, that Greek. Yeah, word. well, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, okay. verse 16. It talks okay. about God, you know, speaking okay. through men. Okay. Right? The, the scriptures are God breathing. So in other words, when you open your Bible, uh -huh. it's as if God is speaking to you. People always want to hear from God. Yeah, well, if you want yeah, to hear from yeah. God, read your Bible out loud well, because it's from Him to us. And me, I tr I'm putting my two, trust there. Two Christian yeah. traditions. Uh, a lot of worship services, when they read a Bible verse, they close it up with, this is the Word of God in, in some churches, or listen for the word of God. Oh, some others. people say some people oh, say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they'll read scripture and then they'll say, "Listen for the word of God." Yeah, yeah. But well, then they just read the word of God. So people did hear it. Yeah. Uh, Are they saying something else? Well, as speaking through whoever wrote those words, because yeah. if if God was directly dictating, for instance, the first three gospels will all agree on all the events and on the. What, the family tree, what do you call it? Uh, the, the begats. There are two different sets of how Jesus was descended, and they do not agree. Uh -huh. If God had dictated that, they would agree, don't you think? Say, say that again. Say it again. The, the synoptic the, gospels you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Right, they're, they're, and I think they do agree. I think they're giving different perspectives of the same events. I, uh, that's what I just said. Different okay. Perspectives. So, so uh, why, why? So are they contradictions? The, well, you look at the two family trees, which I should know, but I don't. Uh, Jesus was descended from Joseph, who was descended from Joseph's father, and so right, forth. Right. They, they, they have different people. They have, yeah. Different people. So you're saying there that there were not good records in those days. No, I understand. So. But I think one, one of the authors was skipping around and only highlighting certain individuals. If you lay them side by side, I think what you're going to see is the same names appearing, but in one genealogy, that's, I think, the Try word you're looking you'll for. You'll find disagreement. Trust me. Oh, so, you, so you're saying that there's a flat-out contradiction yeah, in those yeah. two Because they were written accounts. by people. They were written by inspired people who felt God had spoken to them and wanted to write those down. But the I word think gospel a, is, is not history. It's spreading the good news. Good news, right. But, That's but, what gospel but, is. But I'm saying news. if those people, I think there's a world of difference between those people feeling as though they were inspired. Yeah. And what do we mean by ins inspiration? I'm That's saying a something question. a little more than what I think you're saying. Truth yeah, that's my, my website. Okay. But, here, but here's what I'm saying, is that uh, if, the, if God truly did inspire them, uh -huh. God is, is perfect. 
holy, you know, without error. He's not, he cannot uh -huh. contradict himself. It's impossible for God to lie. That's well. a contradiction amounts to lying. And so God, if indeed he has inspired those scriptures, would not, there would not be any contradictions. I believe what, I, what I'm saying with, with the, the genealogies, I think people will point to all kinds of different uh -huh. supposed contradictions. Okay. And I think when we pour into and we dive into what exactly is being said there, I think we can harmonize those. And That's I, possible. And people I think what I'm saying about the genealogies, and I will look this up, I will look Please, this up yeah. because I, I, I think we, what we do, and I, what I'm saying is just, and you can, I'd like for you to check it too. Well, let's both you know, check it. I will do that. Yeah, Actually, we, sir, I've been on my feet. I was standing out there a quarter of eight to meet the people I was walking with. Yeah. And I have not sat down since then. Yeah. I need to go home and get the load off. Where are you headed? Feet. You're going this way? I'm going into the garage. You're to going into this garage. So the, 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 the have a blessed day let me and give good you, luck to you. Let me give you my card. This okay. is this is my website, bringingtruth.com. Okay. okay. I'm going to look into the genealogy okay. issue. Here's the thing that I would, I would just leave you with. Okay. Is there's a lot of different views out there. People oh, yeah. have lots of different thoughts on all oh, yeah. kinds of things. And when yeah. we're talking about very serious things about whether somebody goes to heaven or yeah. they go to hell yeah, when yeah. they die, yeah. we got to have a standard and we got to have a trustworthy source that informs our beliefs. And my we don't mind even have agreement on what version of the Bible is right because the older you get, the more different translations there are. There's lots uh, of different translations. For instance, sure. you tend to rely on the King James version or some of the. No, I'm more of a, a New American Standard. Guy. Okay. Uh, depending upon how recent the translation is, more ancient manuscripts were included, but no copy of the, for instance, the four Gospels has ever been found in the original. Okay. Yeah, the autographs, you're right. Uh, there are copiers, and, and copiers were made by somebody reading out. And then people writing down what they heard or thought they heard. Mm -hmm. And and so there have been proven been mistakes there. The Hebrew scriptures even more so. So there's not always agreement. I'm glad you go with the New American because the King James was made from not that old manuscripts. And mm -hmm. for instance, didn't include the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right. Uh, yeah. But uh, I wish you luck. But here, I, I think gotta the, go get off the, my feet. And I'm what's your name? I'm Jim Cavanaugh. Jim. Yes. My name is Mike. Okay, Mike. Hey, Jim. Last thing I'll say, I, I think our view of Scripture is different. I think I have a high view of Scripture where it's a trustworthy, reliable source. I think you're somewhere lower than well, that. I meet people who who rely only on the King James version. Uh, I don't and, care and about those people. I care about what's true. And the question is, can we know for sure that that? Book that revelation uh -huh. that claims to be from an infallible, okay. inerrant God okay. is that truly infallible and inerrant? And I think every contradiction can be resolved. Some are a little more satisfying than others. Let's check out the genealogy one. And if you were to go through all the different con supposed contradictions in your mind or that you seek out, say on the internet, what? If you were to able to harmonize all those, can we not say that that is from God and we can trust it for, with our eternal soul? Oh, I already feel they're soul? from God, but they were passed through people, and people are are human, and they make mistakes. And that's what makes it interesting. I've got to go. Have a good day, Thank and you, bless you. Take care. You too.